Okay, I'm going to give you a, a quick rundown of the Obspot Tiny4K software. It's called uh, the TinyCam. You can see it up here in the upper left corner. And uh, basically it lets you control the gimbal, the, uh, the zoom, and other camera settings uh, from this uh, user interface. And uh, I'll give you an example here. Uh, I have face tracking off currently, so I can move around and it doesn't follow me. If I click tap lock, then it uh, switches on. And now it's using its AI to track me around. I can uh, throw up the zoom control and gesture, and it will zoom in. Uh, if I want, I can also manage that manually, and I can zoom further. There's a four time zoom. I can zoom back to zero, uh, and I can uh, switch off face tracking. Uh, from this interface. I can also uh, use this uh, virtual joystick to pan around and tilt up and down. So uh, whenever you're finished you click reset. You can also preset some uh, locations so if you know you're going to want to show something uh, over on the left hand side you can uh, throw up uh, or, or not <laughs> throw up a gesture. You press the preset location uh, control and it will jump over to that uh, if you've preset it to that. I set one also up for right side so I can gesture at things over here on the right. Uh, you can click reset to go back to the middle and uh, so those are all very nice controls for managing the gimbal. There's three preset uh, slots so you can set your own uh, if I wanted to take one that points slightly down. Uh, I just click add and there it is. So now there's over to the right, here's over to the left, and here's a bit lower. So nice uh, options there for quickly uh, setting the camera to point wherever you'd like. Um, there's also uh, some settings here that are pretty helpful. Uh, if you often make gestures with your hands, you might want to switch off the gesture controls. Now I can make the uh, face lock gesture and the zoom gesture without the camera responding, which is uh, kind of nice for if you like to gesture with your hands. Um, uh, if you uh, want to control other things, uh, there's all sorts of settings in here. Um, noise reduction off, noise reduction on. I don't think it makes a big difference if you have decent lighting. I've just got a ceiling light uh, there and, and light off to the side in the hallway that uh, seem to be providing enough light. Um, uh, there's a, a slight adjustment for headroom. Uh, I'm going to switch face lock back on temporarily here so I can show you the difference uh, if I'm zoomed in a bit. And then I switch this back to standard. Uh, you'll notice that it tilts down very slightly. Uh, headroom mode just provides a bit more headroom. It's not really making a very noticeable difference right now, but sometimes it does. Uh, motion mode uh, tracks your motion a bit more quickly uh, as you're moving around, but I, I kind of prefer headroom mode, so it's not cutting the top of my head off uh, when I zoom in. And uh, 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 there's some very nice controls in camera settings. Uh, now there's Contrast, saturation, sharpness, hue. Uh, best to leave those where they are in my uh, experience. Um, you know, you can kind of tweak a little bit, but it, it pretty much gets it right, uh, right off the bat. You know, you, you don't want to, you know, push those too far out of whack to uh, make things look funny. Um, you can really, really sharpen quite a lot, but sharpness kind of comes in and out if you have it set to maximum sharpness, so 50 is a nice uh, spot. Uh, the more useful settings are the uh, autofocus and the auto exposure. Uh, now I've got good exposure here so I don't really need to mess with that, but for autofocus if I wanted to raise something up into the frame and have it in focus, uh, it's preferring my face, so it didn't see a face there. It says there's no face there to focus on, so so it's having a little bit of a hard time focusing on that. Now if I set it to global, and I'll click 
done here. Now you can see that it will more rapidly uh, focus in on other objects. It still manages to go back to my face relatively quickly. So I think I prefer that mode, the global uh, tracking for focus. And uh, basically that's it. Uh, there's uh, everything you could ever really want in uh, camera controls here. And um, it's a really nice uh, option to have.